here. All right. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, another YouTube Live, TikTok Live, whichever one you happen to be watching it on right now. We're going to be drawing a, uh, let's see, it's going to be this uh, 1566 International. Got, uh, got it going over there. Let's uh, pull up a picture here quick. Everything. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now I can see it. 1566. It's gonna be a white stripe model. I happen to really like the white stripe ones myself. There's a lot of people like different things. Hey, how you doing, Coleman? Uh, you can watch it here. You can watch YouTube. You can watch it on TikTok if you're on YouTube. Anyway, how we doing? All right. <clears throat> Going to start here with. Let's see. I'll center this up so y'all can see it on YouTube. <clears throat> That's our outline. We've got started already. I'm going to take a piece of paper. I'm just going to cover everything I'm not working on. Right now, I'm going to work on the circle here of the tire. <clears throat> and I've got uh, got a reference photo over here, but you got the reference photo up in the, uh, in the screen up here if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're on TikTok, well, tough luck. Go over to YouTube if you want to watch it. I'm going to start shading in some of the darker areas. That's the first thing I want to do. <clears throat> the darkest thing I see right here right now is this axle. The axle's dark. There's not much reflection coming off of it at all. And uh, underneath the axle, between these wheel weights, there's a lot of shadow in there. So we've got that. And then here at the end, it's pretty dark, but I see a few white highlights right on this side. So I'm going to add them in quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Check my stream. Stream. There you go. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to send you Model H on Instagram. All right. Well, thank you for that. Can't pull tobacco worth anything. That's, uh, sounds like an H. <laughs> All right. I'm going to start here in the center. Get this going. Let's see. There's, right in here is kind of the darkest. I need to get this, can, this light turned over here a little bit so I can see focused on camera lighting, but I didn't have a good light here for myself, so I'll start up in here. Now, this fades out to a little bit lighter as it goes, but I'm just going to do that. Same thing down here. It's pretty light, but it's still got a little bit of a shade to it. <clears throat> here in the wheel weights, it's dark because the light's not hitting it. Same there. <clears throat> what else we got? There's right here, there's a hole in the wheel weight. That's where you can bolt it in. At least that's what we always did with them. There we go. Down here. Another bolt hole. Drawing that in there. All right. How we doing? All right. Hey, if you're watching on TikTok, do it. Go ahead and double tap that screen. Give me a few, give me a few likes. Get this stream going. How about that? where we can go with it. All right. Got the shadow between the weights here. <clears throat> Putting on. <clears throat> Our weights kind of shaded out there too. All right. There's that. Let's put a little bit of a shadow here. And then up here, outside this tire here, it's got its darkest spot right up here. Now, interestingly enough, when I was w looking at this picture, there's almost a gear pattern in the side of this tire back here, the way the light's hitting it. It looks like a gear. So that was uh, something I noticed in the picture. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw that in there. The best advice I can give if you're trying to draw yourself, and I, I give this advice on all my lives, and I've given it multiple times, so bear with me. It's kind of repetitive. Draw what you actually see. Don't draw what you think you see. So a lot of people would never put white on a tire. But I'm going to use white here in a minute on this tire because, well, it needs it. <clears throat> so I'm shading in the dark spots on the tire, which shifts as it goes down. Up here, it's, it's towards the inside of the rim. Down here, it's on the ground. It's whatever's below because the light source on this one's coming in pretty much directly from above, it looks like. <clears throat> Pop 
apologize for clearing my throat. I've got a little bit of allergies going, which makes it really nice in COVID season, right? Think you got COVID constantly? I swear I don't. It's just allergies. All right. <clears throat> All right I'm going to move over and hit some of these other darker spots around the tire. Now, <clears throat> one thing I've noticed here is the front of the, some of these bars are really dark. So I'm going to shade them in really dark. So this one here is not a commission drawing. It's just a, a drawing for one of my fans on Instagram. They sent it to, DM'd it to me. And a lot of people's been doing that the last few days. And I'm okay with that. Had like 300 requests in the last two days. Actually, it's probably closer to 400 now. I stopped counting yesterday and it was over 300. So it's incredible. Interestingly enough, I don't have that many followers over there. So, you know, if you want me to draw your stuff, it would help if you was following me first. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> All right. Let's go with that. <clears throat> Up here is dark on the side of that bar, below the bar. It's pretty dark. Here, and then it goes into whole dark section here this when I was drawing the data I realized this dark section just keeps going on and on and on and on like forever it's, and there's no detail in here it's just black so everybody it, it cracks me up because a lot of people will say man I love the detail in your drawings but look closely at my drawings there's not a lot of detail I leave the illusion of detail not detail so um, the illusion of detail is nice because you don't have to draw as much as much detail, so that's what I do. Grab my pencil sharpener here, quick. This this paint dolled out pretty quick. All right, <clears throat> gotta be careful with these charcoal pencils when you sharpen them. Sometimes they get brittle and break. If I'm blocking your view on the camera, bear with me. I'll move in a second. And if you're on TikTok watching this thinking, man, I can't see anything, well, go over to YouTube. You get a top-down view and uh, much better, much better looking view over there. I already drew a 1566. The one I drew before was a, a black, uh, black stripe model. I really like these ones with white stripes. They're just heck of a looking tractor. I, I really like them. And, uh, look at that. <clears throat> All right. Come in here. There's a bar here that I forgot to draw. We'll add that in. And if it's not there, it looks funny. I can take it out later. All right. Go with that. <clears throat> further up trying to find out where I'm at so this one right here across this bar where's the dark now the dark is up here I'll shade it up and then underneath and in here it kind of stops there and it rolls out to a lighter gray as we go so we'll put the lighter gray in there Up here, we did that one already. A little bit of a dark spot in here. And I'm just I'm going through these these this reference photo and just trying to find anything that's got like black. I'm not looking right now, not yet, for any any grays. If I happen to see one I'm drawing it, but in reality I'm looking for just the black spots. So <clears throat> Finding this fender all up in here. There's no light hitting here, so I'm just going to hit that as I go right to this corner. Came down under the light, there's going to be no light in here, and I can just shade this out as I go too. All right, now I'm seeing under the fender there's two little white stripes. I think it's just like a, a support, a reflection on a support. It's the only thing under this fender that's got any sort of lightness to it, so I'm going to add that in there. 
Now I'm going to cover it with charcoal and we'll bring it back out in a minute. I just want to make sure they stay in there. <clears throat> All right. There's that. Looking around quick. Anything else I missed? Maybe right up in here. I think there's some black right on the end of this bar. And why not? That bar there too, maybe. All right. I'm going to take my white. Now, I got this white here. This is a really good white. I really like that one. That'll color over anything. I'm going to use this other white, mostly because I don't want to use up the other one because I've got things I need the other one for. Using general brand pencils for the most part here. It's a chalk, uh, charcoal pencil, 6B charcoal pencil that I've been using, and a um, this is just a charcoal white, general's charcoal white. The other one I think is a white pastel pencil. The white pastel is nice because it will cover over top of black when you make mistakes. So I like to save that one. And that one's getting pretty low, and i got to get to the store and get a new one. But I ain't getting to the store tonight, so I better save it. <clears throat> Not to say this one won't cover over top. It, it just doesn't cover as well. So Coming here, trying to put some highlights in wherever I happen to see them. And uh, it's interesting, the light source here. It seems like it's coming from all directions on this top side, so... Trying to give some contrast. Now I see in here it's a little bit of a reflection. <clears throat> I think it's probably like the, I don't know if it's keyway or what they call it on tractors. On there. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? Down here is pretty bright. Now I miss this dark spot right here. I'm going to come back in with my pencil underside of the weights really dark and we'll just fill them in as such all right what else we got in here just seeing a little bit of stuff going on like that I'm just gonna put a little bit of gray in here and we'll blend this out later and she'll look slick <clears throat> I missed the gray in here now on this front side it kind of wraps down front a little bit and it keeps going and it lightens out as it goes but it's still pretty dark so I'm gonna make it as such and all the way down to here that's where it kind of comes together all right <clears throat> well what do you think does it look like anything let me know in the comments so far I don't know if y'all can see it over there is that a 1066 it's a 1566 with a white stripe I know I've already drawn a 1566, but honestly, I saw this picture that the guy sent me, and it looked like it should be in a, a farming catalog or a magazine. It was just such a really good picture, and uh, he was very gracious, gracious to let me use it to draw off of, and uh, it's just a darn good-looking tractor. I'll say that. I will say that. It's you'll, you'll be able to see it here in a little bit, but. Dang, it's, it's just a good-looking tractor. If you're on YouTube watching, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, it's this tractor right here. And if you're over there, well, Mike, or the camera's in the way, so unfortunately you can't see it. If I can move it around a little bit. And I can't. All right. <clears throat> we'll give up on that. All right. Back to this. Now, all the bars on the top of this thing are really bright. The light is just hitting these things, and it's just going crazy with it. So we're going to... I'm going to keep these bars really white. And that's going to be what sets these this tractor apart. These bars on this tire is going to be one of the biggest things people notice when they look at it. Just because it's so, so stuck at it. It's going to almost look fake because this picture's so good. But I'm telling you, it's not fake. <laughs> it's a real drawing. A real photo that I'm working off of. And she looks good. She's just a good looking tractor. Yeah, the big front wheels, the angle it's on, we're looking kind of up on it, and it's just beautiful, I'll tell you that. It's a beautiful looking tractor. So. About that. Now, it starts getting lighter as we go down here, and I'm just trying to keep you know, the basics of the shading in here, but I'm going to probably cover this up a little bit 
they won't stand out as much as they are right now because they don't stand out in the in the photo I'm working off of uh, now when I'm working off of a photo what I typically will do is I'll print it out in black and white that way what I'm working off of is pretty close to what I'm drawing gives me the best opportunity to kind of see what's going on and the best opportunity just to uh, to kind of trace what I'm looking at so there's that <clears throat> here try to do some of this up here in white now like I said before I'm using white on tires which a lot of people would think I'm crazy because a tire is black why are you using white but the lights hitting it so much and reflecting that it really just it looks white so I use a lot of white on on stuff that typically wouldn't have the whiteness so. <clears throat> there's that. All right. Just going to add a little bit of gray back in here over some of this white just so it can blend it. That's all I'm doing. Just adding it in little bits at a time. You know, and then we can we can lighten it or darken it later. I just want to get as close as possible on the start so that I have less to do later. All right. I think we're at the point now where this tire looks good enough. We're going to start blending it. <clears throat> Can you add duels? Well, no, because I've already drawn the outside of the tire. If I was to add duels, I'd have to add it out here, which it wouldn't be hard to do. Just kind of duplicate that over and put some shade in between. Uh, but if if I wanted to do duels, I'd have to start before now. So this one will not have duels. Good question, though. All right, we're going to start blending using the blending stump, which is nothing more than just ground up paper that's been. Uh, sold to me at a really ridiculous price it's not that bad it's a couple bucks for a few of these things but when you start realizing it's just ground up paper you start to wonder why you're spending money on it but uh, I can make my own and I have in the past that's how I started out I was making my own just with uh, you know rolled up paper and all we're doing with this is we're just coming through and we're just taking off the uh, the graininess that the pencil naturally puts down and uh, sometimes I'm using this to darken things, and in certain cases I would even use it to lighten things. But for this, what we're doing right now, I'm just smoothing it out, getting the graininess out, make it a, a nicer, you know, smoother drawing that actually looks, I don't say photorealistic, because I don't consider myself a photorealistic artist, but it uh, makes it a little bit cleaner, if nothing else. All right, now I'm done. I'm pretty much done the rim. All right, I've done that rim, and I'm seeing that I can't distinguish the difference between the weight and the tire, which is going to be a problem. So I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to add some lightness by putting some weight on here, and I just want the front of this weight to kind of stand out. And I can come back in later and put some more detail, but uh, you know that that pattern of the the wheel weight really needs to stand out. You know, there's not everybody in the world that's been around these type of tractors knows what an international wheel weight looks like. And uh, if it's the people that I'm targeting to watch, look at this, they're going to know and they're going to take a look at it and say, oh yeah, there it is. And their mind will fill in the, the gaps. Now, what I'm finding is my blending stump is just loaded with charcoal. And one of my people on on uh, YouTube actually suggested using the sandpaper to uh, to clean a blend and stuff off and that's what I'm doing right now that that was one of the best things I've learned myself from doing these YouTubes is one of my one of my subscribers said well why don't you use that I'm like because I never thought of it <laughs> that's why until now Now I've noticed that I've taken some of the detail out, so we're going to add that oh, hole down here. I'm just dabbing that, just kind of blend it out. It's it's still there. We all know it's there, but it's not as there as it was. And if I don't blend it, it'll smudge it. It'll smudge itself later. So I'd rather smudge it how I want. Uh, finding right around the axle needs a little extra work, so I'm doing that. And then I can move on to the tire. I love doing tires. That's like 
is just fun. Um, since I've already put most of the work in by putting the right tones in the right places, all I'm really doing is just going around this thing and smudging it. I let the blender do the work. I don't really force anything. Uh, most of the time, it just turns out the way I want it to turn out. So, if you get the charcoal and the white chalk in the right place, it'll just naturally turn out decent. And sometimes you got to go back and add detail. But that's fine. Just part of the process, right? All right. I'm trying to watch my comments and. Uh, how you doing, Tractor Lover 459? If uh, I don't see your comment, I apologize. Sometimes I get like really focused on what I'm doing, and uh, I forget to look at the comments. And I know that's part of this here. All right, so I'm going across each bar. Just going to hit these quick, and I'm just going with the bar quick, um, with the grain of the bar, you know, per se. And then I'll come back later and I'll fill in everything between. Alright. So that just gives me the best chance of making it look okay. Alright. So for my people that are watching over on TikTok, how many of y'all actually subscribed to me on YouTube? How many of you knew I had a YouTube channel before I mentioned it here? It's uh, pretty new for me. Um, I've been on the YouTube channel for, I don't know, maybe a month. And I'm just, just starting to get the word out that I'm here or there, wherever I'm at. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get that going. I feel like YouTube's a better platform for art. And TikTok is, but TikTok's a better platform to just reach mass amounts of people. So I'm using both. And Instagram's in there too, because that's an easy way for people to contact me to ask me to draw things. So there's that. All right. <clears throat> Good looking tire, I think. Good looking tire. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Make sure I'm keeping this centered so everybody can see everything. All right, looking at the fender here, there's an interesting white reflection that kind of runs right around the edge. It almost looks like it's outlined in white, which is weird. That's what it is. I see a white spot back here. And then, interestingly enough, the top, where I would think it's darkest, is or where it's lightest, is actually the darkest. So there's that. I'm going to get my little teeny blending stump here. I'm working in a smaller area. I wish they'd sell these alone. I can't find these anywhere uh, that I can just buy the little ones. Because I go through a lot of little ones. Because they bend, they break, they just, they're tiny. You know? They're tiny. That looks pretty good. Now, I'll take another quick look at the fender. That light is just bright white. There's no, no if, ands, or buts about it. It's just white. There it is. And then the rest of this, there is a slight reflection here on the bottom. Just going to add that in there. The rest of it is just gray. So. As you can see, I'm not even putting any charcoal down. I'm just using the blending stump to get that gray in there. Um, you can do that, you know, if you've got charcoal in your stump already. I don't intentionally put charcoal in there, but it, it happens sometimes. So right, I'm just giving a little bit of a white in there just to make it so you can tell it's different. Exaggerate and highlight sometimes. That's what I'm doing. <clears throat> All right. Groovy ideas. Look at that. Send some tractors. Appreciate that, Groovy. Thank you. <laughs> I like drawing tractors. If you ain't figured that out, you know, this is relaxing to me. I got a pretty stressful job, and uh, this is how I relax. <laughs> Believe it or not, this 
This is it. So, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this seat. And I think it's like the top of the seat has a reflection on it. But I'm just going to put that in there. And then we're going to extend this down. This isn't exactly what we see in the picture, but that's what I'm going to do. All right. And then let's blend it. She's coming along pretty good. She's uh, definitely coming along pretty good. Let me move this camera around a little bit. All right. <clears throat> There's that. Let's start on the top of the steering wheel. The steering wheel is interesting because it's got a white reflection across the top. Like that. I can't really see where the we're going to say they're there. I can't really see the uh, center of the steering wheel. I just want to get this really sharp so I know where I'm hitting. I'm just taking my take my sandpaper, grinding her down a little bit, giving her a nice sharp point. Get that across here. And I'm just going to trace this steering wheel around. Boom! Using my little blending stump again. I, you're going to find me using this little blending stump a lot today. Get my money's worth out of this thing, I'll tell you that. Alright, I've lost a little bit of my shimmer, my white on the top, so I'm just going to go back in here. Add a little bit back in. Alright, boom. There it is. might come back here with my eraser in a bit and clean that up. This little cow here on the top, it's a pretty strong reflection. It looks white in the picture that I have here. It's very white. Um, with only just a little bit of a gray here at the back. And a little gray stripe down there. So I'm just going to do that. And she's done. All right. Get the bigger blending stump back. And I'm going to fill in this right here. Well, I don't have enough on that one. Let's flip it around to this side. See if we got any. Ooh, look. There's some right there. I don't want it really dark, so I'm just using the blending stump. And then I'm just smoothing her out. And that's about it. All there is to it. I hope I'm making this look easy to y'all. You can come back and be like, hey, I can do that. <laughs> so. Alright. Now I know in here, just from experience, that there's like a little handle right here. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to take my charcoal and I'm going to cut just below it. And then I'm going to blend her out. So she's barely there, but we know she's there. We know she's there. You can't get away from us that easy. All right, coming back to the seat here. I'm kind of done messing with this hood until I get up a little further. So that's where we're at. <clears throat> there is a ton of area in here that's just nothing but nothing but dark, like black. And I'm just going to add a few little details in here first. Just a few little details and stuff that I expect I want to come through um, as a different different shade is what I'm doing. Not doing much, just just basics. And then I'm going to color over this with black, and it's just going to it's just going to be beautiful, right? I have I have hope. I have uh, faith in myself here that I can do this. I can do this, right? Y'all have faith in me? I, I hope so. All right. What's interesting is this is, is red on the tractor and this is black. But you can't tell the difference on the, the grayscale picture. It's just so 
bunch together. So, all right, up here we got some reflections on the seat. I'm just trying to get in there. And down in here, there's a little bit of a reflection. I don't know what that is. That's it. Now, this area that I'm going to be working on here is huge, right? It goes all the way here, all of this. And it's black. It's not going to be any detail in there at all. It's just black. So, once again, when people say, I love your, how detailed your stuff is, that cracks me up because it's not any detail in it. It's it's cool what your eye will do. It'll fill in the gaps. You know, it'll, if it looks at it and thinks it's close enough and it's seen something kind of like it before, it'll fill in the gaps. Amazing. Just amazing. <clears throat> hey, buddy. How you doing? C7814. How you doing? Just drawing a 1566 International, if you're just joining me. If you're watching this back on YouTube and you've made it this far, drop a comment into the... Uh, into the YouTube uh, comments and let me know you've made it this far into a watch live because nobody ever makes it this far into my lives. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the first one. Unless somebody else has commented already and then you're you're not. Coming to you from the past. I'd like to say I'm speaking to you from the future, but I'm not. I'm I'm actually in the past right now. It's uh, there's like a five second delay. YouTube world and TikTok world, so everything you're seeing now happened a while ago, at least five seconds ago. <laughs> so, all right, I'm seeing now. This kind of goes this way. This is this is all dark, 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 dark. Crazy, right? It's just kind of crazy how there's not. This entire section is just going to be colored in black. Those little details showing through it always amazes me. So we're going to go from there. All right. Twisted1212 says, Hi, I'm guessing I'm your very first person on YouTube. And Joseph Gold said, Hello. How you doing, Joseph Gold? I think I drew a Dutch tractor for uh, Joseph Gold the other day. No, you're not my first YouTube person ever. I've had a few people. First person in the comments, though, on this, this live, if that's what you're talking about. Which is probably what you're talking about, Does that makes sense. How you doing today? It's good to have people on YouTube. That's where my future's at. I see it. The, uh, the TikTok, TikTok's great for getting, get right out there, I'm going to sharpen my pencil, getting a uh, word out there, but it's not great for artists. It's just not set up for that. It's set up for people dancing and and uh, girls dancing around provocatively. That's what it that's what it rewards. <laughs> and uh, I'm not going to show skin for views. It's just not who I am. <laughs> and I, I know y'all appreciate that very much, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Black too. Now, that's crazy how much dark is in there. Like, we'll see how this turns out. I could be completely off and, and not knowing what I'm doing here, but it's never failed me yet. All right. There we go. Thank you for the Dutch picks. My granddad loved it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm very glad. My only experience with Dutch tractors, uh, my dad always called them. Uh, Dutch, <laughs> Dutch tractors, right? That's just his accent. He ended up calling them Dutch tractors. And uh, I, uh, my neighbor had a, a Dutch tractor, as he called it, growing up. And I remember him just, you know, running a hay rake with it mostly, just driving around. I always thought it was a cool color. It's the only other tractors I knew that was a similar color was the Stagger that the other neighbor down the street had. I had a lot of charcoal building up here. A lot. Sometimes I like to use that, but I don't want it here right now. So. All right. What do y'all think? I think it's turned out good. <clears throat> nice. 
All right, my TikTok. Mainly. Farmer, how does it take for one draw? How long does it take? This drawing will probably only take maybe an hour, two hours max. Um, some of the drawings I do can take a really long time. The longest drawing I think I've done was a Shelby Cobra that I drew in color. I think it took about 12 hours start to finish. And my, my everything hurt after that. I, I'm not set up for that. <laughs> not. Alright, put the white stripe in here. That's what makes this one uh, special. I drew a, a black striped 1566 about a month and a half ago maybe. First one I'm doing that's white striped. She was pointed out to me. It's different and I like these better to be honest with you. I think they just look great. So, and, uh, there's a reflection in here on this one. So that's this isn't another stripe. This is a reflection a lot of sunlight coming in. That's what it is. Just a lot, a lot of sunlight. So, get the louvers. The louvers always make or break the track when you're drawing it. I don't think I want to go any further forward right yet. I want to finish this midsection here. So, how are we going to do that? Well, first, we're going to find the dark spots, fill them in. Thanks for the questions. I appreciate questions coming in. Liam Meadows asked, how do I contact you to send a pic? Uh, my Instagram is probably the best way to send a picture to me. A lot of people have been doing that. Send me a message on Instagram. My uh, Instagram username is Clems Tractor Art. That's C-L-E-M-S Tractor Art. And uh, you, can, you can see that in the bottom left-hand side of my screen. It shows up better there. That's Clems Tractor Art. That's uh, that's my Instagram username. I've got uh, it's probably close to four or five hundred pictures sent to me so far to draw. It's it's incredible how many I've got. Uh, so don't get your hopes up. But I do look at every single one I get, and I I mean the guy who sent me this one. He uh, initially asked if I'd drawn a 1566. I sent him the other one and said, yeah, I, I have. And so I'm sorry to waste your time. You know, you send it to me anyway. I'd love to see it. And then this picture was so good that I'm just like, I got to do it. So there is hope. There is hope, believe it or not. There is hope. So feel free to send me stuff. I'd, I'd love to see it. And uh, just a disclaimer, if you watch me on YouTube and you send it to me, going to probably say hey you seen my uh, YouTube channel because I'm pushing that pretty hard right now I said I want I want people on my YouTube channel that's where I think my, my future's at that's where I want it to be at least so <clears throat> but I do look at every one of them and uh, I'll, I'll be completely honest with y'all sometimes I'll, uh, I'll look at it and say yep I can draw that and sometimes I'll say I can't I'll, I'll be kind of open with you and let you know if I think I can or I think I can't. Um, and then uh, if I if I see it and I think it looks good, I throw it into a folder. That's my system. I throw it into a folder on my computer. And uh, if, if it looks good when I go to draw, next time I go to that folder and I pick something. I don't pick ahead of time. I don't promise people ahead of time unless they want to pay me and I'm not ready to take commissions quite yet for people I don't know. I've got a few commissions for some friends of friends and such. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not, uh, I don't make promises that I'll draw it until I pick up the pencil and start drawing. Right now I've got three drawings I've started. I've got this one. I've got a, uh, what's the other ones? I've got a Oliver 1750 that I've started. I've got uh, a steam engine. That's the three things right now that I have on the drawing board. And uh, I haven't picked anything else. I've got a big folder full of stuff, though, to look at and uh, to go back to. And I'm adding to that every time I see it. So that's it. 
How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking there, uh, Spence Hawkins on TikTok. Appreciate people asking how I'm doing. Very nice. All right. So let's pull this back and see what we got so far. That's what we've got so far. Hopefully you're able to see it. All right. She's coming together. That's great. Great. All right. I'm going to move up a little bit. I think I'll do the engine compartment right now. Engine compartment's got a lot in here. That slight details, once again. Nothing crazy. Just slight details. So I'll color stuff in in here. I'll just draw the shapes I see in white. I've had a lot of fun doing this, y'all. This this is so relaxing for me. Uh, with, you know, life can get out of hand sometimes and just get really, really stressful and crazy. And, you know, with work and just everything. And it's really nice to have this that I can come to and uh, just be like, you know, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm going to draw this. And I'm going to forget the world exists for the next hour, two hours, whatever it ends up being. And uh, that's just something I like to do. So that's what I'm going to do for a little while here. And, you know, I'm honestly, I'd love someday to be able to do this full time. That's a long shot. Artists are tough, tough trade to get into. I'll say that. <clears throat> you teach me how to draw the sometime. Go to my YouTube channel. I've got a few tutorials up already, showing people how to draw. Um, and honestly, just hang out and watch my lives. Uh, if you go over to YouTube, I've got this camera here that's shooting down on top of things, so you can see it a lot better. And uh, that's the best way to learn. I, obviously, I can't do one-on-one -on -one lessons, not yet at least, uh, but uh, just watch and learn. So, watch and learn. I like the tutorials. I like the teaching side of this, too. I, I'm not I'm not the best drawler out there. There's a lot of, a lot of great artists that are so much better than me. Um, I, I mean, I'm friends with a few of them on TikTok, so I get that. But uh, I, I just, I love sharing this with people, you know. Inspiring people to draw is one of my favorite things. You know, I've had a few people send me, uh, send me stuff that they've drawn after watching me, and that just makes my day, man. It makes my day. It's like what I did inspired somebody. To go home, pick up a pencil, and try to draw. And and some of them have been really good. Like, not great, but really good. Great starts. And, uh, you know, people send them to me. I always tell people, I don't, I don't give feedback unless you specifically ask me for feedback. So don't be afraid. If you want to send me something to say, I drew this, I'm not going to criticize it unless you specifically ask me, hey, tell me what I did wrong here. And I'll, I'll tell you at that point. But I, I don't want to discourage someone, you know, because everybody's art is different. Everybody's at a different place artistically. Some people's just getting started. Some people's been drawing for years. And you can't judge one artist against another because that, that'll just discourage people. I don't want to do that. So, anyway, if, if you've seen my stuff and you've been encouraged, feel free to send me something. I'd love to see it. I really would love to see it. I'm not just saying that. Mm -hmm makes my day makes me feel like it's worthwhile doing this right <laughs> you know what I mean let me stick these comments all right could I show you some of mine absolutely go over to Instagram DM me on Instagram or tag me on TikTok because somehow the Instagram is the best way though because you can just send them straight to me I'd love to see them I'd really love to see them so absolutely Please send them to me. It would make my day. All right. Here we go. I'm going to sharpen this pencil again, but with the, uh, the chalk. The, what do you call this stuff? Sandpaper. 
because I want a clean, clean point for doing these louvers. Louvers, I'm just going to do one at a time, and I'm just putting like Bob Ross would do, right? And I'm going to come back across, and I'm just going to go beside it. Should put a few white stripes into it. And uh, up here, how far is that white go back? Let's see. Looking at this. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird, weird thing because there's white up here, but it turns gray back here. So, same stripe, different colors, but it's not dark. So, I'm going to whiten over that. I typically don't do anything like uh, I don't I don't do logos on most of my stuff. There are exceptions. Um, I'm gonna add this turbo logo. It's it's not 1566 without the turbo logo. You know what I mean? Just needed it. So I do a very thin white line across here, and I'm gonna cover that with white. That's a nice IH. Was it hard to draw it with that perspective? Uh, it it had its challenges, I'll say that. It was not too difficult, to be honest. Um, she, I mean, I don't, I just don't know how it's going to turn out in the end. You know what I mean? I, I'm hoping I can pull it off. It, it looks good, and I'm, I'm really happy with my outline. Uh, I'm really happy with what I got so far. I don't, I don't, we we'll, won't know until I get, like, done if, if it was worth doing this perspective um, I had a really good reference photo to work off of which makes all the difference like really good reference photo this this picture I had to ask the guy I'm, I'm, are you sure this is your picture and he sent me a bunch of different angles and I'm like oh okay it is um, because it just looked like something that would be in a tractor calendar you know that you pick up at a local dealership <laughs> it really did so good such a good picture very happy with with this picture so very happy that they were willing to let me draw off of it have to come back to those louvers i kind of lost some pers i lost some detail there The hard part here is going to be getting this turbo to look like it's there and not completely screw it up. You know what I mean? All right. Just recently got done with the 1206 Hydro on a diamond cab pulling a small square baler. That's great. I'm going to have to send you some of the drawings of my dad's 1070. That's awesome. I'd love to see it. Really. I would. Is it Roper or Ropper? I'm not sure how to make Roper, I guess. This, uh, I think you're the one that told me about this method, right? Cleaning off the blending stumps. I, I never knew that until, I think it was you that said it in the comment. That's been a lifesaver. So thank you for that if you're the one that told me about it. If you're not the one that told me about it, you can take the credit for it anyway. That guy's not here. <laughs> it's amazing. You, you draw for years and, and never think about something that small I hate to say stupid but it's it's a stupid concept that like why didn't I think of that why, why didn't I think to clean off the charcoal I mean I've tried everything and that's one thing I didn't try and it's such an obvious thing I should have tried so <clears throat> I don't know I don't know okay that's all the detail I'm gonna do I'm not gonna make it a 1566 I put the number in there. I like to keep the logos out as much as possible. I did leave the turbo because honestly, I needed it. That's it. So. There's some like reflections of trees here. That I really want to make sure I get it's it's an interesting reflection. I just want to make sure that stays. I'm going to come back across this set of louvers here now because I lost most of the detail, and I hate to lose that detail because they're just beautiful louvers. So I'm going to try that again. There, now it's too dark, too bright, I guess. Back up across. That's better. 
They look better. All right, I think they look good. I don't know if that detail is coming through on the video, but they look good in person. You'll see it in the uh, end. So. All right. Have you ever done any garden tractors? I have. I got a John Deere 110 I did. And I did a Cub Cadet 100, I think it was. But it was a pulling tractor. This tank thing worked really good. I did it years ago. Um, I haven't done one for a while. I did the 110 just recently. And uh, she turned out really good. It's actually my uh, wife's grandfather's John Deere 110. He bought it brand new, I think, in 1967. Pretty cool. Um, and uh, after he passed away, my wife inherited it. It's sitting in my garage right now. Been in the family ever since it was new. Oh, man, I broke my pencil and screwed up the drawing. Um, so we got that. And then uh, last summer, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, um, I was going back to get it. And my dad said, well, you know, you got that 110. You've got your great-grandfather's 110 sitting here in the garage. Why don't you take it with you? So I've got my great-grandfather's John Deere 110 and my wife's John Deere 110, both sitting side by side. A 72, I think it is, and a 67 round fender and a more modern square fender. Uh, it's a great pair to have. Both been in the family since they were brand new. And, uh, just cool to have currently that's the only tractors I have I moved 1200 miles away from where I call home for work and uh, I sold all my tractors a while before that so that's the only tractors I have is those two two garden tractors I used to do garden tractor pulling when I was in high school I loved it, it was so much fun and uh, had a couple wheel horses and that type of stuff so Draw my profile picture. I, I don't do that in the uh, lives here. I, I'm not stopping to look at your profile picture to answer that. Uh, the best thing you can do is go over to Instagram, find Clem's Tractor Art, and uh, send me a message. That's the best way to do right now. There's been so many requests on TikTok that I haven't been able to actually do any of the requests from TikTok. Um, but I have definitely done some. This one here is from Instagram. So, um, sorry I can't do that. It's just, it's overwhelming, honestly, the, the amount of support I've gotten, especially the last couple of days. This has been great. But it, it has been to the point where I just, I can't, I can't keep up with TikTok, the requests I get. There's just so many. And honestly, um, most of them that I get on TikTok, the profile pictures are so blurry, I can't really work with it. So, Instagram, if you DM me on Instagram, they, uh, it's a better platform to send pictures. It just is. So that's my suggestion. Feel free to take it or leave it. That's what you got. Hope you all understand. If you don't understand, well, tough. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm actually a pretty nice guy. I do look at every, at this point, I, I hope to keep being able to do this. I look at every uh, picture I get on Instagram to uh, see if I can draw it, see if I want to draw it. So, right. I'm noticing here there's a very fine line between the front tire and the back tire. So I just want to put a line on there to separate it. I'm blending most of it out, but it's there. And now I can see. But they're two separate things. Before I lost it, I wanted to make sure that's in there. Alright, starting at the bottom on these tires. I always start at the bottom and blend up using less pressure as I go on the white areas specifically. And this just gives it the, uh, the shading towards the bottom where the light's not hitting a little bit easier. And sometimes I'll even not shade the top of the whites until the end. I'll come back, clean off my blending stump and hit it again, which is what I'm going to do. I've got a, a clean blending stuff over here. It's white, so it's actually lightening it as I go. And we'll blend it with that. Once again, this is just a quick drawing. If I was doing this for a commission, this drawing would take a few hours. I'm just getting this one done so that people can see what it looks like to draw, and I'm having fun with this one. So I'm not going to be selling this one. It's not... Uh, not anything great detail, but it's one that'll just it'll take you know, 
I said, maybe an hour and we'll be done. So, I don't know how long I've been alive here. Did it say? Oh, 55 minutes so far. So it's going to take more than an hour because we've already been an hour. All right. I forgot the exhaust pipe. You believe that? This has got one beautiful exhaust pipe. That sucker's chrome, straight stack, and uh, they're easy to draw. They really are. You draw one line of charcoal down through there, and we're going to use the white for the rest. We're going to make this baby chrome. Chrome. Can we see the overhead cam? You can if you go over to YouTube. Unfortunately, TikTok is a bunch of jerks who don't let me stream from OBS, which would allow me to use the overhead cam. Um, <laughs> I've asked multiple times. They refuse to do it. They say my account's not set up for that. Other people do it all the time. So, no, TikTok does not allow the overhead cam for my account. So, figure that one out. But I've been on YouTube right now, streaming the overhead view pretty much exclusively. You got uh, the overhead view with uh, my ugly face kind of in the background with a reference photo. So that's it. <laughs> Feel free to stop over. If you stop over, say hi. This is really good. You should be famous. Well, I guess. Oh, I'll just a comment here. Guns and ammo said something. I can't get to it. I don't think this has an overhead cam engine. <laughs> That's a good joke right there. That should be uh, that should be live over on my jokes from the bunker page. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm using right now, this is a uh, it's called a Mono Zero. It's a eraser that looks like a lead pencil. This thing's amazing for getting little details out of the way. So, all right, it doesn't have an overhead cam engine. Right, that was good. All right. To the grill. This is my favorite thing to do draw on the 66 series. This grill, iconic, right? Iconic grill. That's all it is. Just, you can see probably, I don't know, a tenth of this grill without any context. And if you knew what this tractor is, you would know that that was off, what it was off of. Because it's just, it's one of the most iconic grills right, right up there with, you know, with the, the side of a, Hood of a John Deere, you know, 4020 or 20 series. Iconic. Iconic. Yeah, I've been trying to. Uh, the reason I'm going to YouTube uh, pretty much exclusively is uh, because they let me you know, do the different cameras and stuff. And. Um, like I said, when I reached out to TikTok, I got very little feedback, and what I did get was just, no, I'm not doing it, which is really disappointing, because I was trying to bring them some new followers to their platform. They don't care about that, so that's where we're at. So, hey, what's up, Clyde? All right, I am here. I thought about that when I said it. <laughs> yeah, uh, some accounts actually do have the... Uh, OBS or, or stream keys, whatever they need, have that enabled. Um, I like this one because I can move it around. You can see that's what I'm drawing. If you just got here, that's me. Hi. And then uh, that's the overhead view. So, anyway. It's also a good gimmick to get people to my YouTube channel. <laughs> you know, I got one. Anybody else want to come over from uh, TikTok to YouTube? That's where the future's at. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh man hey if you're on tiktok go ahead and tap that screen give me some likes i need those it gets it gets my word out there i've got uh, 360 so far which is kind of pathetic i'll be honest with you for as many people have been in and out of there get some likes going let's go <laughs> oh man y'all was going to be watching the playback later and be like oh this is awful why is he why is he bashing TikTok? What's TikTok? You know, because 10 years from now, probably not even going to be remembered. All right. 
So this iconic grill, all I'm doing right now is filling in the black because every one of these is just a black hole essentially. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So I'll come back with uh, some white here and give some details and highlights in a minute. Where'd my white go? Oh, there you are. She fell over. I thought she was gone forever. All right, I see in my reference photo that right around the grill, there's this, which I just hit my camera with my my lens. Y'all probably just went for a shaky ride there or with my uh, my hat. <laughs> anyway, at this point, YouTube or TikTok is just a gimmick to get people to my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is where the focus is. So. Sorry, TikTok people. I like TikTok too, but lately they've been really bad to me. On this channel, my other channel, my other channel, Shadow Band, losing followers, 250,000 followers on Jokes from the Bunker, and I can't get any of my videos out because they won't let them go. So that's kind of sucks because I put a lot of time into that, and I know a lot of people like it, and it's just not going out. So it is what it is. I'm done venting. Or maybe not. Just found your channel is so underrated. Thank you. Appreciate that, Nico. <clears throat> Farmall H. No, this is this is International 1566. Uh, I, I, I assume you're asking me to draw an H. I haven't drawn an H, believe it or not. I've drawn multiple M's, Super M's, multiple 66 series. I love these tractors. I've, uh, believe it or not, I've never actually driven one. Somehow been around tractors my whole life. I've never driven one of these. I'm an international guy too, so it's kind of embarrassing to say I've never driven a 66 series tractor. I might have ridden on one once, if I can remember right. All right. I'm glad you just found my channel. Too bad you didn't find it earlier. I've only been around for a month or so. I'm still new to all of this. So, appreciate you saying I'm underrated. I'm just happy to be rated at all. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, that turned out pretty good. You never know how these things are going to turn out. Until you get, like, almost done. Anybody else draw? All right. Yeah, it looks like a picture. How are you so good? I love practice. I've been drawing for years. That's the picture. And, uh, that's what it looks like. So, I've, I've been drawing. I can tell people I've been drawing 37 years, which is actually a lie. Because, I mean, I didn't start drawing until I was four or five years old. I'm 37 years old now. So, I've been drawing my whole life. That's no exaggeration at all um, sometimes more than other times um, I, I love drawing it's just what I like doing and uh, tractors have always been around me um, recently I lost my dad last January and uh, it kind of reconnects me in ways to just the memory of him if nothing else so I drew I drew a couple tractors for him over the years and, he always was amazed with it. I mean, he was always on tractors, around tractors. He taught me everything I know about tractors, pretty much. And uh, so it's just been good for me to just remember him and reminisce, you know. All right. I'm going to come through here, and I'm darkening all these. I'm going to have to come back with a white pencil and clean it up because uh, I'm smudging over my lines, and that's fine. You never get it on the first try anyway. Uh, I'm going to use, I've got a, this short white pencil. If you've been here for a while, you've seen it. It's my favorite pencil. And uh, I don't know where to buy another one because I don't know where I got this one. And I don't know what it is because I didn't, I mean, it has very little, <laughs> little writing left on it. But it works so good. So I'm just going to have to go buy every white pencil I can find of this style and go from there so. I'm just 
just filling in a little bit here because I know that that's there. Um, we're not seeing any of the top of this, which is interesting from this angle. I would expect to see more of that, so we're not. That's fine. All right. Coming back over, I'm going to clean off my blending stump with a piece of sandpaper. I'm going to hit a little bit of these details that I might have smudged over a little bit up here. Cleaned up. That's all it took. <clears throat> Let me see a few more viewers on here. Not just me. I know. It's great. I love to see this. Um, I, I do. Great job for sure, as always. Thank you very much. What tractor is that? That's a 1566 International. And uh, it's really good to have people finally finding me, you know. It's just been it's been really good, and honestly, it's it's came because I started asking people. Like I'm kind of a shy person, and if you're here because I asked you, hey, you know, you sent me a picture on Instagram, like, hey, come on over and see my YouTube. That took that took every bit of me to do. I'm not the kind of guy to do that. <laughs> I started doing that yesterday, and I ended up with uh, a whole bunch of new followers, subscribers. Sorry, I don't know the terminology over here on uh, YouTube followers is on TikTok. If you're watching me on TikTok, that's what I'm talking about. All right. It's very good to see. I'm getting a longer average watch time here too today than I normally do, which I appreciate that. People sticking around. Maybe it's because it's an international and they're just superior tractors. <laughs> Maybe not. All right. Where are we at? Here. Just trying to find the... Uh, I left some details out when I drew it earlier. Just trying to find where it's at the darkest at this point. I, uh, just doing that. Now I've noticed right now there's a white light there, which kind of goes back that way too. So I'm going to add that in. Um, I'm seeing here there's a big reflection on top of the axles. This is pretty common. Um, if I was drawing a tractor that I didn't really know anything about or I didn't have a reference photo for, I would know to put that there because it's just always there. Um, where these, what is that, a hub of some sort? I guess you can change the width of your tractor, I think it's what I'm thinking of. Maybe not. There. Details in there. All right. What do y'all think? Should I start doing this every Sunday night? Live streaming every Sunday night? Thinking about it. I've got three drawings I've got to do this week, though. So I'm going to be live at least three times this week. I've got a steam engine that I'm going to be drawing, which I'm really excited for. It's a beautiful-looking steam engine picture that I found. The guy sent me. And, uh, man, I've, I've actually been looking for a steam engine to draw for a little while now. Because I have one steam engine on YouTube so far. And that video blew up like immediately. So I want another one. <laughs> you know, try to repeat that success. Um, and uh, I've been looking for a steam engine to draw. And I haven't found any. You know, everybody said, we just go to Google. Well, if I take one that's like a, you know, famous photographer did. And then I don't get permission. And then I get sued. So I'm not doing that. So uh, i got to be careful what I draw off of. <laughs> just for my own sanity and... Uh, financial ability have you heard of the Kinsey in Action Center no what's that it doesn't sound familiar anyway I'm uh yeah I'm just trying to make it this guy sent me this steam engine and uh, it's a beautiful picture of a steam engine it's in a parade I think in Georgia where it's from and uh, I'm like I, I gotta draw this and he's like go ahead I'd love to see it drawn I'm like absolutely I'm gonna draw it so I'm drawing that one this week I'm uh, drawing uh, Oliver 1755 it's one of the only commissions I'm doing right now uh, actually it's the only commission I'm doing right now somebody's paying me to draw their Oliver 1750 I'm super excited about that and uh, I don't take uh, I don't take commissions because I don't really trust people. <laughs> Sad to say, but I, I just don't. So it's a guy that I know though, so I'm doing it for him. 
price was right. So anyway, I'm uh, actually thinking about. I've actually started on already doing some uh, Christmas cards for this year. Try to uh, make some Christmas cards that people can send out of different types of tractors that I draw. Working on that now. Hoping to have those out before October so that we can have plenty of time to order them. That's in the works. I'm uh, working on a website. It's, uh, i got a lot of things going on. <laughs> Innovation Center. No, what is the Kinsey Innovation Center? I do not know what that is. Feel free to tell me. I'd love to. I like learning. It's something you'll find out about me over the years if you keep watching me. I love learning things. Love it. Keeps me going. Can you draw on Alice Chalmers E? I don't know. Dude, that is cool. Thank you. If you think it's cool on TikTok, you should go over on uh, YouTube and watch it. It's uh, much cooler with this camera that you're seeing here. Looking down, you can actually see what's going on. <laughs> I only got a tire left to go. We're going to be done in 10 minutes or so. Maybe shorter. Got any questions, you better get them in there now because I ain't going to be around here much longer for this one. And, uh, anyway. this tire and then we'll come back across with some more I see a white outline out here that I didn't draw I want it I want it there though all right back to the black pencil this is a different black pencil I don't know I wore my international hat today for uh, drawing the international it's not specific to that I wore this almost every day I've only got a few hats I wear if you know my jokes from the bunker channel then you know that's not true either. I've got a ton of hats I wear. <laughs> it's kind of my thing over there, switching hats up every once in a while. Alright. I'm going to figure out how to make money with this, y'all. How do I make money with this? Because <laughs> honestly, doing a quick draw like this, I don't think anybody would pay me what I think it would be worth. And it's not just the drawing, because the drawing don't take long. It's the shipping and the packaging all that just drives me nuts i don't like doing it i don't want to do it <laughs> that's gonna have to be worth some money if i'm gonna do it i'm just saying i just want to draw can i draw and somebody else take care of all the shipping and day to day and all that stuff i just want to draw I think this one's turning out all right. What do y'all think? Think it looks good? The giant Kinsey Planter Grain Cart Museum, all about Kinsey. Is that off of I-80 in Iowa? All right, be back there. That is cool. Nice. The giant Kinsey Planter Grain Cart Museum. Fluke Boy Fishing. What's up, Fluke Boy? How you doing? I think uh, if it's the place off of I-80 in Iowa, I've driven by it so many times. It's got the place, like, uh, tractor stacked on their end. It's got an international and a big John Deere articulated tractor kind of stacked on the side. Is that what we're talking about? I never knew what that was. I just kind of thought it was like the, uh, I don't know, I thought it was a factory. <laughs> be honest with you, I never paid much attention to it. I just thought it was cool when you drive by if that's the place. Hey, if you're on TikTok, there's still time. Go ahead and... Uh Go ahead and jump into my bio. There's a link that will take you over to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe. It's it's worth your time. There's exclusive content over here on 
YouTube, and there's going to be more coming. And eventually, I'll probably go away from TikTok completely. Not there yet. Just trying to build this up over here. Because TikTok don't like artists. <laughs> next time you do that, I'm going to do... I think next time you do an outline for a tractor, I'm going to do the tractor like it. Then you do live stream on charcoal. You know what I, what I should do, and I might do this in the future, is I'll schedule my live stream and I'll put the outline on uh, on my website once I get my website up and running and then everybody can follow along if they want. That, that's a great idea. I really like that idea. I'm glad I came up with it. With your help. All right. Some shadows. I've actually, I've thought it'd be really cool to do just like, not a coloring book per se, because that's for like kids, but um, something similar to a coloring book with like good drawing paper where I do the start of drawings and then uh, give kind of instructions on, on completing it. That's something I've considered in the past. I think would be really cool. And anybody interested in that, if I did that, I could always potentially do it as like a free download or something. Print it, print it on your own drawing paper. Um, I'm using uh, toned gray paper. I really love toned gray paper. If, if you're not familiar with it, it's it's gray. And, uh, it just makes drawing charcoal so much easier. All right, I'm just going to take a quick gander here and see what I've missed. And uh, we'll go from there. I think the one thing I'm seeing is this weight bracket is kind of blending. Blending into what's behind it. So I'm going to add that in there back across with the blender. Alright, I like it. What do y'all think? Y'all see anything I missed? Yep, that's it. I think that's it. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, cool. Alright, y'all. Well, you know what the last thing I gotta do is, right? sign it. I'm going to darken this up a little bit before I sign it because I'm going to sign it right here with the white pencil. And I want to sign in that shadow. So let's give it a little more definition to that shadow. How about that? I like, I like what I got here. This is cool. I did that uh, grain truck, Ford uh, cab over grain truck a month ago or so. I did it on TikTok Live, and I got almost done, and I realized I never did the front of the, uh, front of the cab on. <laughs> so done. That's what happens. All right, I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. Get her good and pointy for the signature. All right. We're coming into the last few minutes of this live, so... Uh, you got any more questions, comments, concerns, get over there to YouTube before I'm going. <laughs> and, uh, well, this has been my best YouTube so far. I, uh, it, it's been very good, actually. Uh, I mean, there's only, what, four people here at the most, but that's four people that weren't here last time, so. We sign it with the year. That way I remember what I did. What do y'all think? She looks good. She turned out really good. So if I was to, uh, let's see if I did this right. If I was to frame it, I'd probably do something like a white mat over top of it and frame it. Like a blue or a red or a dark mat would look really good on that too. So. Y'all, this has been great. I uh, I enjoy I enjoy my lives. The best part is I get content that I can cut down and make other videos with. And uh, honestly, y'all, this has been a lot of fun for me. So I appreciate y'all hanging out with the live. It's, uh, back here, I, I, thank you. And uh, let's go ahead. And... That's what we got. Looks pretty good, y'all. Yeah.
That's that. And uh, over here. There's that. She turned out pretty good, right? Thanks for the follow there, John D. D-Y-L, I guess. I don't know. That's what we did. So, y'all, I'm uh, I'm ending the YouTube live here for uh, for now, and I appreciate y'all stopping by, and uh, thanks for thanks for all my followers, subscribers, fans, everybody, and. Uh,